This is the first drill I get every single golfer to do. People really get that concept of width. You can really get that shallowing move in the golf swing. Ultimately, who doesn't want to attack the golf ball from the inside. Welcome to the channel guys. If you are brand new to the channel, you know exactly what to do. That big red subscribe button, make sure you smash it. Let's get to it. It's Throwback Thursday. You need a woggle or an alignment stick. Now, this is the first drill I tell everybody to do. And why is that? Grab your woggle or your alignment stick, left hand on top, knuckles to the sky, right palm underneath, palm to the sky. And the feeling we want to do here is, now I want you to imagine the bottom of this woggle is where that golf club head is traveling around your body, okay? And we're gonna make a few moves, really trying to feel we create the widest bite wheel possible and feel the width back and feel the width through. Really key points here we need to look for are the right arms in and in front of you in the downswing. You've got width through the left arm in the backswing. And key here is we're learning to control the bike wheel to come a little bit more into out, not as over the much over the top. So as I'm making this move to the top now, you can see how good the arm structure is looking. Right elbows working nicely, palms to the sky, as if I had a golf club in my hand. And then from here, we can start to really feel the sequence of the downswing. So it's called the bike wheel drill. Because if we can imagine a really wide bike wheel, a bike wheel that comes from the inside, good arm structure, good body movement, this just breeds consistency. Who doesn't want consistency, right? Okay, it's Throwback Thursday. I want you to cast your mind back to your first ever golf lesson and the reason why you picked up a golf club because I think we all seem to forget that along the way and we get too much into club head speed, too much into our score, too much into our handicap. And really, for the majority of us, we picked up the game of golf because we loved it. We wanted something to do and we enjoyed the sport. So don't forget that on Throwback Thursday. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you can either use your woggle or an alignment stick to do the backswing and the downswing. We're gonna mix it up now and get into the downswing with the alignment stick. Left hand on, knuckles to the sky, right palm to the sky, bring it to the top, great width, great structure, staying in posture. Another good tip is you can do this in front of a mirror. So downswing now, we're looking for this sequence. We want to be light to heavy to light. And I want you to feel like you control this with your belt buckle, okay? So we're in, we're light, the lower half goes, arms stay towards the top now, you can see the tension that I'm building between lower and upper, and then we bring it through, okay? And again, and what I want you to do here is, I want you to feel how far can you get your belt buckle to the target with your hands still up at the top. So width, consistency, X-factor stretch, who doesn't love this drill? the top, belt buckle to target, feel the stretch, bring it through. So it's, it's more than just the drill this. And that is exactly why I tell everybody to do it. Because you can apply this part of your pre-shot routine, part of your warm up, and it works on so many aspects. Let's now build this into a practice session. You know the theory, you know exactly the reasons why we're doing it. And honestly, I love it. It's now time to build this into our three ball drill and if you know about the three ball drill and our five ball sets, and you want some more information, you should check it out right here. I'll leave the link just above me. Two reps with the alignment stick or the woggle to the top. Feel the stretch slow, bring it through. And again, feel the width in the left arm, feel the bend in the right arm at the top, feel the stretch between the low and the upper and the downswing, working on all those key points. Now into the golf shot. So that's a great way of reminding you of those feels. And straight away I do this now, I can't believe the width that I feel. I also feel downswing, and I'll tell you after I've hit this one. That honestly felt so much more width, so much more freedom, and they're the key things we're looking for. We're now on to one rep. Again, knuckles to the sky, palms to the sky, grabbing it just short of the club head. To the top, feel the stretch, Feel the stretch on the downswing, club head square impact, bring it through. Now this is the real piece of resistance of this. The feeling of flow, rhythm, stretch, speed in the downswing, sharp and snappy is exactly what we want. Speed. Final golf ball now, we're talking about pre-shot routine. So if we're on the golf course now, and I'm a big believer in building this into your practice because it's super important. 
I want you to knuckles on, hand on the bottom, bring it to the top, feel the stretch into the golf ball. Then one practice swing, actually simulating the shot you're gonna hit. Walk behind, one walk in, waggle it, rip it. That's it from Throwback Thursday. I hope you enjoyed that content and you can see exactly why I give that drill to everybody that comes for a lesson with me. If you did enjoy this content, thumbs up button and also smash that subscribe button too. The big red one down below because we've got so much content coming in lockdown to help you improve and also keep you sane on golf.